all right so in this video I'm gonna show you how to create app IDs for um, your app in the iOS developer center so by now you should have already created a developer account and then if I log into the developer center by going to developer.apple.com and then I log into the iOS dev center so here you have um, opportunities to um, download all the information that you need to develop your app and submit it to the App Store. All right, so what we're looking for is the Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles tab on the right here. So I'm gonna select the Identifiers, so that's for the App IDs here. So here it lists all the App IDs that you have for your app, right, or for, sorry, for your account. So then you can go here and create a new one. Right, and then I'm gonna create a, a new App ID name just gonna give it a name for now. For example, let's call this magazine the Lifestyle Magazine. All right, okay, and then I'm gonna choose a new app ID prefix. You're gonna have um, a lot of these in your app, so you can choose any one for now. And then what you wanna choose is an explicit app ID for the app ID suffix. Um, this makes sure that you can be able to create in-app purchases for your app. All right, so you can choose any prefix, any random prefix in there. Hopefully not the team ID, right? And then a bundle ID. So in this case, I'm going to call it com. Dot, um, preferably a company name. So let's just say your company name is um, lifestyle. And then dot lifestyle magazine all right so I've come so, I, so I'm calling this um, com dot lifestyle dot lifestyle magazine or let's just say lifestyle company just so you understand how this works so basically um, what normally happens for the bundle like this you already have com dot your company name and then dot your app name right okay let's leave that as as it is and then you do want to select um, in app purchases which is accepted by default and then leave that as it is and then click on continue all right so that app id is um registered now okay actually i have to click on the submit button just to make sure that that's that's done okay so that's done submitted and then we can click on the done button and then we can continue by creating a provisioning profile so the next step is to go into the provisioning profiles tab so if i click on the provisioning profile all here so what I want to do is create a development profile. So this is the profiles I'm going to use to develop my app. So for now, I click on the plus button here, and then it asks me what type of profile do I need. So for now, I'm going to click uh, an iOS app development profile. I'm going to have to create a new one for distributing your app later, right? But then for now, let's create a development profile, and then we click on continue. So I've selected here the app ID which I, ju I just created basically I created in the, in the previous video and then I'm gonna click on continue here and then I'm gonna choose what certificates I wish to include in this provisioning profile so I have two certificates here I'm not sure which is which I'm not sure which one is on my um, computer right now so I'm just gonna click on select all you probably have only one but if you have two or you know which one you want to use you select that one and then click on continue all right so now you can um, basically add what devices you want this to to work on so this can work on simulators or they can work on devices so I'm just gonna click that this should work on my iPad and my iPhone 4s so let's leave that as it is so for those two and then click on continue so that means I can run these apps I can run the development apps on those devices and then I'm gonna call the profile name lifestyle magazine I'm gonna call it lifestyle magazine development profile just so I remember just so I remember what the name is and I'm gonna click on generate okay so that's done so the next step is to um, download this profile right I can click on download and then now it's on my um, computer now so I can actually drag that profile to Xcode I can go in here and then drag it to Xcode to install it main project here and then um, another tab, build settings here. 
I can easily go and check what provisioning profile I want to use. So if I click on, so for the debug profile, I want to use um, the Lifestyle Magazine Development Profile. So you see that's included there. And then for the release, which is actually submitting that to the App Store, I would want to use the distribution profile, but I don't have that in, um, integrated yet. So what I'm going to have to do is create that in the iTunes Member Center. So I'm going to do that in the next video and then you can see how that works.